things, dear brothers and sisters, I want you to carry with you as we get into these last 10 nights. Number one, as we go into the last 10 nights and as we hope that we catch Laylatul Qadr, remembering that the night starts at Maghrib. How many people at the time of their breaking of the fast will lose out their Laylatul Qadr before they pray a single rak'ah of Taraweeh, before they even make it to Salat al Isha? Why? Because over iftar, you might backbite, you might gossip, you might say something you should not be saying, and most of the people lose it in its early part of the night. It could be one comment that's made at the dinner table, but it starts at Salatul Maghrib. And so remember to include everything from the Adhan of Maghrib all the way to the Adhan of Fajr as part of your Laylatul Qadr. The second thing, dear brothers and sisters, to make sure that we catch Isha and Fajr all 10 of those nights and days within Jama'ah. And we know that because the Prophet ﷺ said that whoever prays Salatul Isha in congregation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will write down for them the first half of the night in prayer. And whoever prays Salatul Fajr in congregation in Jama'ah, Allah will write down for them the second half of the night in prayer. Sa'id ibn Musayyib radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, he said, whoever prays Salatul Isha in congregation has taken their portion from Laylatul Qadr. The third thing, what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said authentically, that whoever prays Qiyam with the Imam until he finishes, Allah will write down for him the entire night in prayer. This number four means keeping yourself busy in dua and particularly the short duas. I'm going to mention the reason why. Most people in here, if not everyone, already memorizes Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anni. However, the ulama say, build on that concept of the short comprehensive du'as as you move around on Laylatul Qadr, even subhanAllah, even they said if you're on your way to relieve yourself and come back, keep the short du'as on your tongue. Why? Because the Messenger SallAllahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the most beloved of du'as to Allah, the most beloved of supplications to Allah are the ones that are the most comprehensive. Finally, dear brothers and sisters, number five, this is the most comprehensive way to understand Laylatul Qadr and it's very important. That when the last 10 nights would come in, the Prophet Wasallam would tighten up his waist belt and he would give life to the night. He would enliven the night. The whole night was alive and he would wake up his family. He would make sure that his family also was participating in it. What a beautiful...